Hi guys, I'm Woolcraft Hamster and I just wanted to uh, do another little follow up to the uh, video about making a spoon or a spatula that I made um, a little while ago. Um, basically I've had a couple of requests from family members to, to make them some, uh, some spatulas for Christmas, um, knowing that I do this kind of thing. So what I've done, I've, I've split out a couple of bits of wood, um, I've marked out my generic spatula shape on there. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick kind of, uh, uh, you know, speed it up video um, of kind of how long it takes to, to do that kind of thing. Um, and I'll show you uh, a couple of finished examples uh, at the end just so you can see what they can come out with once you've sanded them down and oiled them, that kind of thing. Um, so, I'll, uh, I'll make a start. Okay, so that's a start made for the roughing out with the axe, and uh, now I'm going to move over to the push knife uh, just to bring myself down to. We still see them on there where the uh, the lines are on there. Okay, so now we're basically 
down to the correct shape. We've pared down most of the material, but obviously these are both still quite thick. Um, so all I'm going to do is use the axe just to uh, take off a little bit more of the material and get them down to the, the right sort of thickness. Okay, so um, basically these are the roughed out spatulas. Um, they are just roughed out at the moment. These are green wood as, as with a lot of my carving, so these now need to take a couple of days to dry out. Um, I'll then sand them down, uh, finish off tidying up the little bits with a knife and what have you, um, and then I'll oil them. But uh, what, I, what I wanted to show you was, here are the two, uh, two spatulas from my previous video. Um, I'm not sure you can see these particularly well in this light, but uh, basically these have been fully sanded down. Um, I've given them a, a coat of oil, um, because these are for food use, um, I actually went with rapeseed oil. Um, I mean, you can use anything, you can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, um, any, any food safe oil, like tongue oil for example. Um, now, if you look at these in comparison, you know, there's, there's no reason why you can't leave the natural grain still on these um, but obviously if you do you need to bear in mind that as you're cooking with them it will soak up the uh, natural oils um, sources and things like that from food and then they'll, they'll end up getting stained um, which these will eventually after lots of use but uh, you know I, I always tend to oil them um, just in terms of oiling um, any woodwork that you're doing um, especially things like this the, the trick I tend to use is, once I know that the, the wood is fully dried out, um, I will put it on uh, a baking tray. Normally, if I, if I take a couple of, of other pieces of wood, I'll put that on the baking tray, I'll put these on top of that, put it in a, between sort of 50 and 100 degrees, um, leave a little, uh, little crack of the oven door open, just so the, any, any moisture can escape. Um, and I'd leave that for probably 10 or 15 minutes, just, just until they're kind of hot to the touch. Um, once, once that's done, take it out, um, take your oil and, and just generally smear it over, get a really good coating while it's still hot. Um, leave that for 15, 20 minutes, um, come back, give it another coating and you'll notice a lot of it will have absorbed in. Um, and basically just keep re-coating it until no more is being absorbed. Once you've done that, uh, take some kitchen roll or something like that, wipe off all the excess, leave it for sort of 24 hours in, uh, in you know, indoors, somewhere warm, um, and, and basically what you'll end up with is this. Um, so you know, there's no residue on here, there's, there's nothing coming off on my hands, um, but I know that I can stick this in a pan of water um, and it's, it's going to protect the wood from the, the, the heat, the water, the moisture, that kind of thing. Um, well, I hope that was useful. Um, feel free to drop any comments in the box below. Um, if you want to hit subscribe, if you'd like to see more uh, more of me doing stuff like this, and if you've got any uh, any requests, please let me know.